the Pope is unhappy about President Trump's Jerusalem move. Just moments ago, President Trump ordered the U.S. to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Pope Francis, speaking hours before U.S. President Donald Trump's announcement on Jerusalem, called on Wednesday for the city's status quo to be respected, saying new tension in the Middle East would further inflame world conflicts. Trump is due on Wednesday to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital and set in motion the relocation of the U.S. Embassy to the ancient city, senior U.S. officials said, a decision that upends decades of U.S. policy and risks fueling further violence in the Middle East. In an appeal at the end of his weekly general audience, Francis called for all to honor United Nations resolutions on the city, which is sacred to Jews, Christians and Muslims. I make a heartfelt appeal so that all commit themselves to respecting the status quo of the city, in conformity with the pertinent resolutions of the United Nations, he said. The Vatican backs a two-state solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, with both sides agreeing on the status of Jerusalem as part of the peace process. Palestinians want East Jerusalem as the capital of their future independent state, whereas Israel has declared the whole city to be its united and eternal capital. The Pope told thousands of people at his general audience, I cannot keep quiet about my deep worry about the situation that has been created in the last few days. He said he hoped wisdom and prudence prevail, in order to avoid adding new elements of tension to a global panorama that is already convulsed and marked by so many and cruel conflicts. In 2012, the Vatican called for an internationally guaranteed special statute for Jerusalem, aimed at safeguarding the freedom of religion and of conscience, the identity and sacred character of Jerusalem as a holy city, and, respect for, and freedom of, access to its holy places. Before making his public comments, Francis met privately with a group of Palestinians involved in inter-religious dialogue with the Vatican. The Holy Land is for us Christians the land par excellence of dialogue between God and mankind. He said, he spoke of dialogue between religions and also in civil society.